the parable of the ego. The Prime Minister of the Tang Dynasty was a national hero for his success as both a statesman and a military leader. But despite his fame, power, and wealth, he considered himself a humble and devout Buddhist. Often he visited his favorite Zen master to study under him, and they seemed to get along very well. The fact that he was a prime minister apparently had no effect on their relationship, which seemed to be simply one of a revered master and respectful student. One day during his usual visit, the prime minister asked the master, your reverence, what is egotism according to Buddhism? The master's face turned red and in a very condescending and insulting tone, he shot back. What kind of stupid question is that? This unexpected response so shocked the prime minister that he became sullen and angry. The Zen master then smiled and said, this your excellency is egotism. The parable of the ego is a lesson in managing our expectations, responses, and anger. More so than any of that though, it is a reminder to always be humble, despite whatever position you find yourself in, in life. The prime minister considers himself a true and humble Buddhist, and yet is someone arguably at the top of their game, leading an entire dynasty. Despite his material possessions though, he still accepts the fact that there is a master above him and cheerfully goes every day to learn more. The funny thing is though, the master also appears flustered and angry with the question, but I think this is more to be taken as a teaching method than a failure of the master's response. There is also something to be said about our attachment and expectation to outcome. Because of the master's great wisdom, the prime minister assumes the answer will reflect that, and it does, just not in the way that he thought it would. Rather than surrendering to the flow and allowing whatever will be to be, the prime minister builds up what he expects the answer to be before the master has even said it. And when things don't go to plan, he becomes frustrated and anxious. The master uses an expression of ego of his own to reflect the ego within the prime minister, ultimately as a teaching tool more than anything. Perhaps the lesson here then is that expectation and attachment are what cause our worries and anger. And that by surrendering, we will gain a truer answer to our questions. In other words, like many Buddhist tales, we cannot control how other people behave or how events unfold like the ego wishes to believe, but we can control our own responses to them. And in that lies the answers to our questions.